You watch, you know Rebecca loves it toasty. She loves it warm. Yes. She loves it further south. But we're going to go too far south. Mm. It's time for the Berardelli bonus. We're going so far south, it will be the coldest place on Earth. In fact, it is the coldest place on Earth, Antarctica. So why are we doing that? One of the reasons is I had this amazing shot sent to me. I'm going to step out of the picture. This is from a friend of mine, Erica Multan, who is the STEM director at St. Pete College. She was just on a, a research cruise down in Antarctica. And look at that beautiful landscape and look at that pancake-like cloud, lenticular clouds caused by the airflow over the mountains. So let's talk about Antarctica. And sea ice has been running very low. It should be right all the way out here where you see the orange. Instead, it's where you see the white. So so we're missing a lot of ice. Now, sea ice was actually going up until 2014, counter to what our computer model said should be happening, but then it just kind of fell like a rock. It's been tanking ever since. And last year, we saw sea ice that was so low, it really was confounding the experts. Sea ice has been running very low. 2023, missing ice, the size of it was the size of 15 states of Florida. Uh, now, the reason why it's important is because it acts as Earth's refrigerator by reflecting sunlight back to space, keeping the Earth cool. And it also buffers glaciers, kind of acts as a fence, limiting sea level rise. And last, experts are saying this about it. They're saying it's unlike anything they have ever seen, and it's far outside the bounds of normality. Although, to be fair, that's what people say about me. <laughs> Every day. Right, exactly. <laughs> We wanted to leave you with one more really stunning shot of lenticular clouds. This is from Dean and Peggy Bender. They're from Bradenton, but they were on a cruise, and they caught this amazing shot. Yeah, amazing. If you want to send me a picture, uh, please send it to weather at WFLA.com.